What's up guys, Isaac here and in today's video I want to discuss the importance of the subconscious mind, right? And um, I'm going to start a series where I'm going to go into more detail about reprogramming the subconscious mind because I feel like this is an incredibly important of self-improvement that's really going to be a game changer for you. But in this video it's going to serve as an introductory into the subconscious mind and my experience with it. So let's get into it. Okay, you basically have two minds. You've got the subconscious mind and you've got the conscious mind. Your conscious mind is the thinking mind. It's kind of like the analytical mind. It's the mind that you use day to day, the voice in your head, the mind you use to plan barbecues with your friends and hang out and to think about questionnaires and stuff. That's your conscious mind. Your subconscious mind is different. It operates in a different language to your thinking mind. The two minds operate differently and behave differently. Your subconscious mind is incredibly powerful and it works in the background. It's the mind you use when you are listening to someone talk and you're interpreting the movement from their lips and the audio that's coming out of their mouth into a meaningful you know, stuff that's going on in your head. It's the mind you're using when you're reading text and you're able to see the writing and actually understand the words. It's the mind you use when you're talking to a friend about your weekend and you're walking without paying attention to the road and you're still able to get from A to B. It's the subconscious mind. It's the mind that keeps your body's temperature at a set rate, keeps you in homeostasis. It's the mind that keeps your heart beating without you even knowing about it. It's the background operating system. Now, basically, the reason it's so important is because in the subconscious mind lies our self-image. And our self-image is basically the idea or the perception we have of who we are at the core, right? Our idea of ourselves. And the self-image is important because if you have a goal, let's say you have a goal of as I said in another example, you, you want to quit smoking, right? So you tell yourself you're going to quit smoking. If your self-image is of you as a smoker and you go into the goal as a smoker trying to quit, your subconscious mind will sabotage you to go back to where you are. The subconscious mind always wants you to go back to your self-image. That's why when someone is shy and they have that as a characteristic of their self-image. They think that they're shy. I am shy. It's hard for them to initiate a conversation with someone, not because they don't know what to say or they don't know what to do, but because the subconscious mind actually makes them be consistent or stay consistent with the idea of themselves. So this is incredibly powerful because if we can change our self-image through subconscious reprogramming, a lot of the things that we want to accomplish will be much easier. So what influences the subconscious mind? Well, basically, there's three different things that influence the subconscious mind, and I'm going to go into them right now. It's repetition, authority figures, and traumatic life events. Okay, let's talk about traumatic life events. If you are a smoker, to stay consistent with this example, you've been smoking for 50 years and you start feeling sick one day, you go see your doctor, and your doctor says, hey, mate, look, um, you've got lung cancer. If you have another deck, if you have another pack of cigarettes, you're probably going to die. Do you think you'll keep smoking? You probably won't. Your subconscious mind will change your self-image instantly because of the importance, the weight that's associated with that event because of the traumatic life event, right? So traumatic life events definitely can um, change who we are. You hear this all the time of people that had near-death experiences or out-of-body experiences coming back and they're completely different. The other way our subconscious mind can change is through the influence of authority figures, people we have set value to. So if you were lucky, you would have grown up with parents that gave you positive messages, that boosted your self-esteem, told you that you could accomplish things. However, some people are unlucky and they had parents that put them down, messed up their self-images, told you to stay quiet, told you you were, couldn't accomplish things, told you that your height was set, that you were limited. These people with these bad upbringings often have low self-esteem because of the influence of the authority figures, the mom and the dad, that they set high value to impacting them and programming them through childhood, right? And the last thing that influences the subconscious mind is repetition. The things we do repeatedly, the thoughts we have repeatedly, the, 
the visions we have repeatedly influence our subconscious mind in a major way. To give you an example of this, um, remember when you first tried learning how to ride a bike? You probably kept falling off, kept bruising yourself. You had to really concentrate, paddling, keeping the handlebars straight until you actually got it. But with practice, with repetition, you are now able to ride a bike without thinking about it. It's easy, it's second nature. Same thing with driving a car, same thing with walking, with language, with reading. With almost anything you repeat over and over and over and over again, what happens is it goes from the conscious mind to the subconscious mind. And repetition is of great interest to us because it's the one thing that we have in our control. We can't control traumatic life events and we can't um, control how people, authority figures have influenced us, right? We don't have great control of those things, but repetition, we can. So I'm going to be going over in future videos about ways that we can actually use repetition to change our subconscious mind for the better. But I'm going to close off this video with giving you guys a story of how I've changed my subconscious mind, how this stuff actually works. Because five years ago, I was completely different to what I am right now. Completely different person. I used to, you know, like play a lot of video games, didn't really give too many shits about my future. I used to, you know, just skateboard all day and just chill out. Now, I had this idea, this image five years ago of who I wanted to be, this concept. And this concept had me working hard towards my goals, had me not being distracted, being incredibly focused, and, you know, just being a man of integrity. Now, over the years, through the subconscious reprogramming that I've done, I've now managed to get to that stage, to this idea that I had or that I conceived, the seed I planted five years ago, and now am that person. And all these things happen with no effort. As in, for me now, whereas previously I used to get distracted, I used to play clock like 700 hours into video games and not want to do work. It's easy for me to do the work that I know I need to do and not be distracted. It's now kind of awkward for me to sit down and watch some bullshit on TV because I feel like I'm wasting my time. It's easy for me to go to gym and not skip it because my subconscious mind has now been programmed to have this particular self-image that it always adheres to. So it's the good thing about that is when you have reached that goal or when you change your self-image, a lot of the goals, a lot of the things that you want to do previously now become easy. It now becomes automatic, kind of like your breathing, kind of like your driving, kind of like riding your bike. So all you do at that stage is just kick back and see things happen on autopilot, watch the progress and enjoy. So that's what I want to help you guys get to. And I'm going to do that in the next few videos. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe and stay in tune if you want to those videos because we're going to go deep, baby. It's a very deep concept and I can't cover it in just this video. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.